CMS teachers were already planning on having a work day on November 2nd, but tonight the Board of Education voted to give them an extra work day on November 1st to get some work done without kids in the classroom. Now CMS students will be able to sleep in on Monday after a late night of trick-or-treating. Some of the board members were skeptical of the calendar change, especially after parents started to email them about their need to find childcare with such late notice. But ultimately, the board decided teachers needed a little extra help to plan their instruction and get some training done. Due to COVID delays, CMS staff said teachers are behind on state-mandated training and planning their lessons in advance. I'm concerned that we're reducing classroom time for kids. And so I understand the challenges, absolutely acknowledge the value of the, and need for this professional development in the program. It's not what I need, it's a different But I would have liked to have seen another plan besides pulling kids out of classrooms to do it. Our students are feeling our teachers being overwhelmed, overworked, and for them to have a day to really understand professional development and not have to worry about it during the class time, I feel as though the class time that we would have missed would the class time that we would have missed would have been not as adequate if they were not given this day in order to have their professional development. CMS staff said other school districts throughout North Carolina are struggling with some of the same issues when it comes to getting the state mandated training done. But Charlotte in particular is having an issue because of its size. Since it's the largest school district in the state, it's tough getting nearly 5,000 teachers trained in these various sessions throughout the year. In the Government Center, Emma Withrow, Fox 46.